the army moves against the red shirts and shuts down two weeks of protests. In Thailand, the violence has killed two people and injured more than a hundred. A final hard core of around 2,000 protesters made a defiant last stand, but leaders called off the demonstrations, saying they're trying to save lives. Caught in the middle, tourists to Thailand, including many Britons. Just heard this explosion and we all jumped up and we ran over and then um, just this hail of bullets and I just, I just started crying because I'd get such a fright. We could see the, the cocktails and the petrol getting thrown in the road so we had to come right back and then the army just came in force and started shooting. The Red Shirts are broadly supportive of tax in Shinarat and are calling for democratic reform and fresh elections. Former Prime Minister is vowing to return. We've been deceived that we, ha we already have the true democracy, but it actually is the democracy for few. We want to see the democracy for all. And that's the reason why the people, they are now gathering. They want to, they just come with bare hand and they want to, they want to, to ask for democracy peacefully. But I don't know how it's end up in this way. And his supporters are backing him. I think the fighting was against our rights. It's wrong to suppress us. It's not fair as we come with no weapons. We come to demand our democracy. Pitted against them, an urban elite of the monarchy, the military and the middle class. The British-born Prime Minister has declared a state of emergency and refused to negotiate, although he has promised to address any injustice in Thailand's political system. Backed by the army, he's won this battle, but the red shirts are vowing they'll be back.